Hey, what's up everybody? This is Papa Bale and welcome to the channel. Um, we're looking at Mama Pulse Motor and Baby Pulse Motor. Baby's whipping. Going about a thousand RPMs. A little under than that. About 850. Uh, what we have here is a stack of bobbins that actually fit perfectly around this steel bar that I have, steel rod. So I was wondering what I should do with each individual coil. Because I think that's pretty cool because you get more control over everything. Uh, you can hook them up in series, you can have them all be different, you can have them all be the same. Separate, same in series. You can have small series. You could have like 32 gauges right here. You could have 20 gauges right here. And I don't know. How does the core actually work? Uh, all these ones down here are going to get something, right? Because it has a core. So, I mean, like the magnet's going to affect probably the first three. And they'll get saturated pretty quick. Um, but the core will allow the rest of them to get affected. Am I correct on that? Because what I'm trying to do is generate with this. And the problem with that is the bobbin is the room to fill is very small. <clears throat> I might be able to fit 1,500 turns of 32 gauge in there, and that's it. Um, so it won't be very much wire, but uh, yeah, wow, baby really wants to go. It's knocking that, it's so close. It's not close enough to stop it or slow it down, really, but it's close enough to knock it. You can hear it. Wow, I might have fixed it. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we're, I want to have a live discussion about this generator coil right here. Is it crazy? Should I just do one? Try to print one? Wow, that said six, sixteen, sixty-eight. Seven twenty seven, okay. So that's ten volts in one amp, so we're at ten watts. That's, that's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get one on the big one. I think that the big one, one of the transistors might not be functioning. Three sixty eight point three. That's not good. That's... Gonna have to break out the batteries, separate uh, separate everything so that so that the right amount of juice goes to the right place. Because right now it's all being distributed evenly across the board, and that means you know you got 
you got one amp, 10 volts, one amp going here, and 10 amps <laughs> over here. When this one probably only needs like 0.2 amps. So you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be better to hook up the batteries. And I got these nice little switches right here. On, off. Whoops. Okay. Maybe we'll do something about that. Okay, then on the, there's a whole other side of this thing, which is the table. Um, we're going to be moving this to a different room. And when we do that, we're going to change the surface with one of these on the wall. I heard something. So I'm going to cut it. It's probably just uh, shaking or something falling into place. But I did lose 2.2 amps. It was at 0.8 when I turned it off. So one of the transistors might have popped. But yeah, man, I got a 26 and... Uh, 28 gauge wire going through here 666 times that's <laughs> <Woo! laughs> and then over here this big monstrosity I have four different wires going through it I got a 32 28 26 and a 20 gauge you can see them maybe over here Yeah, they go, they whip, but they're, it's like, it's a, it's a six, it's like the series side, I'll do an experiment where, you know, you're just doing the single, the single strand, and it'll be a certain way, and then you do uh, the series strand, which is twice as long as the single strand, by itself and it's a certain way okay now when you do them both together it's a certain way and it's cool how the power supply adjusts to that um, but it's not regulated by any means I mean it, it, the only regulation comes from inside the power supply which, uh, I don't know, I think it does a pretty good job of regulating the power, making sure that uh, even if one, one can go up to four, it will never go that high unless they get wires get crossed. You know, the amps don't go through the roof unless you, you know, connect <laughs> connect the red wire to the black wire like right there then the amps are gonna go all the way up <laughs> but yeah um, Mike suggested that I do four magnets for uh, magnets magnets it just sounds so weird magnets all right for speed and I think he was right. Um, so I took off, you know, all the ones in the middle and left four on there. So yeah, just go right above uh, five to get the Paul effect sensor to turn on, and then boom, it's going. <laughs> That's awesome. Woo! <laughs> and just to do it like this is now satisfying me because it's, well, I don't know, it's about as satisfied as I can be with it. 
I want to get it going through that, but I'm going to wait until after we move it and refurbish it. Um, someone suggested that I need a capacitor, so I'm going to use this bad boy. <clears throat> to uh, as the capacitor from what I see is a bunch of capacitors linked in series without big wires and stuff like that which is awesome I think that's pretty cool maybe there's some regulation going on on, there, on the on the board up there but that is so cool little little devil over here let's see Yeah, this one's going really slow. I don't know what that's all about. I'm going to have to check the transistors. Make sure they're all good, which I can almost guarantee it's not good. Um, it might be... The, it could be one of the connections to the series circuit in uh, trifecta coil doesn't sound like it's hitting look at that bad boy we're at like 8.7 volts, 0.9 amps. So it's like some wattage, but. Cool. All right, well, this this was an experiment and it, it I'd say it's a failure. I had all these strands going parallel and it was kind of weak. Maybe something wasn't right. I don't know, but well, oh well. But yeah, we got to talk about this coil right here because you got that steel in the middle and each one of those could be the same or different or both. You know, there could be a bunch of different strands, but all the same coils, so. Uh, I just need to know, because I don't really understand how cores work. They've never really worked for me with anything that I'm trying to do. So we're going we're gonna to make this work the way it's supposed to. I mean, just because there's only one, does that mean that it's going to be off balance? And if it's off balance, is it worth doing? You know, these are things that I'd like to discuss. But uh, thank you very much. Peace out. Um, I'm probably going to drop live on Sunday. Hopefully we'll be all moved by then. That'll be great. Um... Yeah, but this little thing, man, I was so happy. Look at her go. That's when it's starting to speed up, but it shouldn't take all this. Do a 12 volt demo. Yeah, here we go. This is the batteries we're using, 12 volt batteries. So this is the power, hopefully, that we're gonna be getting out of the batteries.
There is 1.2 uh, amps going through it right now. Yeah, I'm telling you, the series circuit is not functioning on the big wheel over here. It's just a single strand. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to fix that. Um, yeah, this is fun again. You know, there's stuff to do. Yay. Um, and these, this coil, this, this bobbin design is pretty significant for the magnets that I'm using. It's almost perfect. You know, like the magnets are just a little bigger than the hole. So it's like, it's perfect really, depending on how much copper you put in there. Yeah. Wow. I'm, <laughs> feel great. It's gonna be awesome. These are the batteries that I'm talking about. I was gonna do a, a phase project where each coil had its own assembly, its own breadboard, its own power source, um, just totally mobile, you know, you could pick it up and put it anywhere, try to make the coil heavy enough so that it would be, didn't, you didn't need to fasten it really. But I mean, when your transistors go, you need you need it needs to be stationary because it'll start flopping around. All right, well, there it is. Thank you very much. Bye now.